personally, I think society is starting to accept it a little more because of the shows yeah. and, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah, definitely. But you know what it is? It's like all those are like newcomers. They come in, they get one or two. The ones that are hardcore that keep coming back, they're not the ones that are being affected by the mainstream, you know. Right. They're just they're just in love with it. They think it's. it's a, yeah. Besides the TV, it's just a culture thing, you know. It's, it's a cult. Yeah, it's addicting. It's definitely addicting. Definitely addicting. Right. And do, do, what's your favorite art piece? Because I noticed that you have some really beautiful art yeah, got, on your uh, body. What's your favorite piece that you have? My favorite piece is the portrait of my daughter. On my skinny legs here. That is beautiful. That's my daughter. And who did that portrait? That's Jose Lopez from Lowrider. Okay. Yeah, he's one of the uh, guys that I admire and looked up to because he was doing it before I started. And he's from Anaheim, and I'm from Anaheim, so I knew about him a long time ago. So he's an inspiration to me, so it's an honor to have his work on me now. Awesome. And I also love this one here. This is the Virgin Mary. Uh, who did that one? This was Car Carlos Torres from Carlos SoCal. Torres. And, uh, you got the Jesus. We just started doing some skulls and roses here. And uh, then I got this other one here. This is a Japanese Hanya mask. Wow, that's beautiful. That's done by Mikey Montoya. And I love that one there too. So those are yeah. like my favorite tattoos. All the other ones I don't want to show there. <laughs> so um, you've been here all three days for this expo? Yeah. Definitely. And have you been busy the whole time? How is how is it looking? Good. Yeah, I had appointments on Friday. Uh, actually, I didn't take any walk-ins. I was already booked up before I got here. That's awesome. Like just some cool pieces I got. On Friday, I, I did a, a tattoo on a guy that drove from Arizona down here. Wow. I worked on him for eight hours, and then uh, we entered tattoo of the day, and I won I won the tattoo of the day on Friday. Well, congratulations. That was cool, on you know? that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it, and enjoy the rest of the show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Right, right here at the tattoo show right here with Pomona. Right here with Big Adam right here. Uh, Danny. What's up, Good big dog? Right sure. here, we're gonna have a few beverages in a little bit. No way. Maybe find some uh some After nice hours like a motherfucker. Yeah. And I get really fucked up tonight, but um, uh, you know, we brought him in right now because he's got some badass uh, color artwork. You know, I haven't seen uh you know, stuff that good in a while, man. Who did your tattoos? All this arm is by Carson Hill. He's pretty much done almost all my work. Uh, it's about 80 hours. Wow. Yeah, uh, we finished it in about three months. This one, who knows how many hours. It took me about three or four years to finish. It's got the guy with the hooks in his face. It's got yeah. the chick with the demons on her leg. Got the monster bitch inside with the shots. Demons pulling out of the heads. This is all just space themed out. Every picture was taken directly from the Hubble telescope. Straight put right on the paper and just tagged on all over. My side is from uh, Spawn. Uh, it's Tiffany from the comic book Spawn. We all know who that is right there, huh? You know Chucky? Oh, Chucky. <laughs> this is Mike DeVries. He Mike works DeVries. out of uh, Ink Junkies right now in Hesperia, but he did most of his work out of his house. Man, that's fucking nice right there, yeah, yeah, That's my newest oh, one. I got this one. This is still Carson. All right. Yeah. Another little Hellraiser style. Yeah, so that's more demons, demons, shit. Yeah. More demons. Mike nice Chester was by Luis Ruiz at the pain parlor yeah. out in Ventura. He blasted my whole chest in about two hours. So it was really quick, painless. He made it really easy for me. Yeah. Uh, that's about it though. I mean, I'm just still working on shit. Got to blast my other side. I'm going to do both legs from the kneecaps down and my back will be last. Yeah, that's bad, so man. Doing. How much did you pay for th for this one right here? This one, homie, hooked me a really good deal. I don't even want to go into numbers oh, or right. anything, but this one was a homie discount after about five or six years of work. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he started with like he did like my third to like tenth tattoo, and he's like, I was really dedicated to him for a while. What are his normal rates though? Like 100, 150 bucks an hour, if that. Like I said, he's the inventor. This guy Carson Hill, he's the inventor and the creator of the. Numa tattoo gun. Yeah. It's all air powered rather than mechanic or electric. So, I mean, it's a whole lot lighter for the artist. Um, I mean, which in turn turns out to be, you know, less pain for the, you know, taker. Less weight on the artist's hand makes it that much easier. Really quick. He's just, I mean, I give him so much respect. All of his stuff that I do is all freehand, pretty much, you know, just off the top of his head. My other boy, Mike, that did my leg, he's all into portraits. Um, any kind of picture you can think of that you can bring this guy, he'll do it. 
top notch. He wins every award at every show. Wow. I mean, we got a couple uh, contests to enter right now. Best large for my arm. I'm gonna enter my Chucky piece too. See what happens. But I've only entered one piece, and that was in Vegas when I finished this. I won first place. But that's it. I haven't entered any more. So kind of I'm like stressing right now, seeing what's gonna happen. It's a lot of good competition. Oh yeah, man. You know. You're gonna win, man. That's a bad thank you, thank you. Honestly. Represent San Fernando, homie. The big eight. <laughs> All right, big homie. Thanks, Danny. We'll be in front of the night. Melody fights, homie, for life. Sick fucks for life. What? 818. Eco did it under here. Oh, wow. He doesn't even have his name on this card? No. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Hey, what is where you get that tattoo or that? What's up? What is where you get that tattoo? Ignition. You told him to draw that, or how did it happen? Yeah, I came up. I got the picture Angelina Jolie. Yeah. And I told him I wanted him to turn into a vampire. And then this is the, the vampire off of Van Helsing. Oh, off the Van Helsing. All right. That's some crazy ass shit. What's the tattoo artist name? Nico. Nico. Out of ignition. Ignition tattoos. Yeah. It's That's in some Apple Valley. Shit, man. That's nice. And who did all this? Who did this artwork right here? This is all Jeremiah Barba. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And under the arm, that's Nico right there? That's Nico. This is Shane O'Neill. Shane O'Neill. It's Mikey Montoya. Oh, Mikey did that one? That one and that one. Oh, all right. Yeah, Mikey does good work too. Damn, is home Homeboy's here right now at the tattoo show? No, huh? he's not here actually. Oh, he's not here? Yeah, he's not here. Wow, what was your name, man? Bradley Bullard, Bradley. yeah. All right, man, we got some badass tats right here. That's my, that's the baddest one I've seen at the whole fucking expo right here. I mean, that, that, that's detail I've never even seen before. It's like you got the magazine and they just slapped it on your, yeah. your leg right there. I mean, fuck. And that took 10 hours? Yeah, nine hours, the whole thing, nine hours. Nine hours, man. That's fucking badass. All right, thanks a lot, big dog. Cool. All right, you have anything on your back? Uh, that's old. Yeah. I'm here with Danny with Six Buck Clothing. Danny, I'm representing myself. Tell me a little bit about how you started with the clothing line. This started off as kind of like a little club, you know, it was a Six Buck club, and uh, one day I decided to make a few shirts, and uh, from there, you know, everybody wanted them after. They kind of like the logo. You can't really read it. You know, it says Six Buck, but uh, it's kind of hard to decipher, you know what I mean? Right, right. So she's like, well, what the fuck does that say? You know, Six Buck. And the model on the back, you know, is Drink Fight and Fuck, so everybody kind of dug that. And the shirt they glow in the dark, so I started off with that. And then Tony Ciavaro, a really badass tattoo artist, uh -huh. I had him uh, draw some ideas that I had out. And then, uh, you know, he took Tony through that right there. Okay. It's basically a dude with an Uzi, and he's blasting a rat that dropped a dime. And so I come up with little ideas, Tony draws them out, we stamp them on the shirt. Uh, we got bandana, and we got felony fights right here. I do the silk screen for them. We got a piece of guy right here, a little Hector. And uh, you know, we do the felony fight shirts and DVDs they get down on on, on videotape with bass. How, stuff like how long have you been pushing the clothing line? Because it looks like it's doing pretty successful. A lot of people like the product. A lot of people are wearing it at the show. About two years, you know, give or take a little bit. Um, I've been out there trying to move it a little bit, you know, but I work and I do other things on the side, but so far so good, you know what I mean? Right. And are you a, a fan of tattoos as well? Yeah, I'm a big fan of tattoos. Uh, and, uh, you know, the clothing line is kind of like made for the tattoo industry, you know? Right. That's the kind of market that I cater to. And, uh, yeah, how when did you get your first tattoo? I was about 21, and uh, it took me about two years to find it. I wanted to get my last name, you know, blasted on my chest, and I looked and I looked for the right letters. I couldn't find it, so finally I came across a pretty cool little font, and I ended up getting it. So cool. Can I see it? Yeah, yeah. This is my tattoo right here. That's a pretty big tattoo for first tattoo. Yeah, I you know, normally when I do things, I do a little bit. How'd that feel? <laughs> wow, it took about four hours on the first day. They did the outline, a little bit of shading, and then another for the day after. 